Right guys, welcome back to the channel and to this open war battle report between Blood Angels and Necrons and what a mission we picked today, Nathan. We did pick them. <laughs> honestly, honestly, we did pick them at random. Honest. <laughs> no. Okay, the, 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 the initial deployment was Dawn of War. So we're like, yeah, let's not play that one. Pick this one out. Uh, war of Attrition, which is basically kill points by the end of the game. Yep. Uh, and Exhausted is the twist, which is minus one strength. I've been hunting these Blood Angels mercilessly, and now they're trapped. Yep. And I don't have a lot of units or models. Because I've been killing you. And do you know what? The minus one strength is a massive impact for me, because it means that my Marines now hurt your Warriors on fours when I charge. Yeah. Rather than threes. And I'm tired, but, you know, my strength doesn't affect my guns. No. <laughs> no. So, massive, massive detriment to the Blood Angels here. But, can we come out on top? And here we go. This is the Blood Angel force today. It is one battalion, led by the Primaris Chaplain on Outrider Bike. He is the Warlord. He has the Imperium Sword, and he has the Relic Crozius. I've also spent one of my 12 command points... To give him the gift of Foresight Blood Angel Warlord trait as well, which gives him an extra reroll to hit, wound, and save. Uh, and of course, he's taken Mantra of Strength as his litany. We've got a Sanguinary Priest with a jump pack, and we've got a Librarian Dreadnought with Wings of Sanguinius and Quickening. For troops, we've got one unit of Infiltrators and two units of Incursors. Other way around, actually. Um, We've then got a unit of seven Sanguinary Guard with three Power Fists in there um, and two Axes, two Swords. We've got three Inceptors with Plasma. We've got a Redemptor Dreadnought with Onslaught Gatling Cannon, Plasma Incinerator and Icarus Rocket Pod. And then we've got three Outriders. And believe it or not, that is 1,500 points. And here we go with Nathan's Necrons. You've got a lot of bodies for 1,500 points. Yes, I was <laughs> surprised. I managed to squeeze out quite a bit, actually, for 1,500 points. Um, so the Warlord, the, the, well, yeah, the Warlord is the Overlord here on his Catacomb Command Barge. Yeah. Uh, he's just armed with his normal Staff of Light. Uh, he doesn't have the uh, Resurrection Orb, uh, but he does have one Technomancer, and the advisor that you can get for the other one, so that's two Technomancers in this list. Yeah. Uh, with all the new core rules, it's nice to just try and bring some bodies back. Um, so I've got two units of destroyers. I have one unit of normal destroyers. Yeah. And one unit of heavy destroyers at the back. Oof. Uh, give some much needed heavy fire power that the net ones are sorely missing and some range. Yeah. Uh, big squad of twenty normal destroyers. Five. Gores Immortals, five Tesla Immortals, and two squads of three Tomb Blades. Yep. Although uh, each one has one of the each different weapons, even right, though they're okay. not on there, but each one has one the one particle, one Tesla, and one Gores. Yep. And I bought them. I've never used them, but I want to get them in the box to see what they look like. Get them out the box, and so I've brought my squad of Death Marks. and a lot of Scarabs. Yes, my nine Scarabs, which I was very surprised. I thought I might get eight, but when I put it up nine. That was exactly 1,500 points. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, and what dynasty are you running? Um, I'm running a custom dynasty. Um, I am running today, I'm running uh, Healthy Paranoia, which adds three inches to the range characteristics of all my ranged weapons. Nice. And Superior Artisans, which each time a unit with this code is selected to shoot or fight, you can re-roll one wound roll, because I know when I'm like rolling dice. <laughs> I noticed you didn't bring it, um, Doomsday Arc, though. No, um, I was so excited with all the new core rules and, and finally getting to use my destroyer wing again, which I yeah. ran back in seventh. Um, I forgot about it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> but then again, with your rolling. Yes, yeah. It's, it, 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 we hit or miss, so we'll see how it goes. So, after deployment, should we roll to see who goes first, Nathan? I think we better. I'll let you re-roll it, because it's, it's not flat. I, I, I'm go first. You can go first. I'm everyone, absolutely yeah? going first. <laughs> so a very quick command phase. Unsurprisingly, I feel mantra of strength because I always do. Mm -hmm. um, and then I use the blood chalice ability from the sanguinary priest, who's now left that way. Uh, but of course, I put them on the sanguinary guard. Of course you would. Of course I would. Uh, the incursors are pushed forward because I think you know with 
you know, lots of attacks with the minus one AP on their uh, blades. Hopefully, start dealing with them. Yep. But it depends what you're going to do back to us. Uh, additionally, though, the Outriders have pushed forward. And I've left the Chaplain where he is, as well as the Dreadnought. Um, and all I've done is put uh, the Priest there to hopefully keep those guys alive a little bit longer when the inevitable happens. Uh, the Redemptor, however, did push forward slightly to start peppering down into these guys here. So, we're going to hit things off with the Angelus bolt guns from the Sanguinary Guard into the Warriors, mm -hmm. spraying and praying. <laughs> a lot of misses. That's not good. Uh, this is strength for your toughness for? Strength for toughness for, yes. Fours, and that's five at minus one. Minus one, so that is five up. Um, no, that was a six, I'll give you uh, that. Oh, okay. But then you've got your reanimation. Yes. So, because they finished firing, so... Fives, re-roll yeah. the ones, because warriors... Yes, yes. No, uh, one. So, so three die. Three go down. So, another warrior killed down here from the infiltrators, and not even a scar base killed from the incursors. Uh, the bikes shot into the tomb blades and did nothing, but now we have the Redemptor Dreadnought opening up on this nearest squad of destroyers. Now, unsurprisingly, Nathan, I'm spending the CP that I just gained on Wisdom of the Ancients to reroll my hit roll. Yeah. So, that drops me down to 10. Uh, forgot to mention as well, Nathan was uh, turn one is protocol of the sudden storm, where he went for the plus one move, which doesn't affect him until his turn. Uh, but opening up with the plasma, I am overcharging. Okay. D six shots. Five. I will keep the five. So the reason I went for the reroll hits here is mm -hmm. because of the ones. So one miss. This is strength nine, uh, which is crazy. Toughness five. So threes. And that is minus four. Yeah, what's the, what's the damage? Three each. Bye. Really? Yeah. Oh. So I didn't expect to clear them out with, that, with just the plasma. When I saw you roll that five, I was like, oh, they're gone. Yeah. Uh, anyway, charges. Down here, these guys are charging in. So, Nathan, are, you are electing to Overwatch? I am electing to Overwatch, let's, yes. let's see what we roll for me charge first. I'm a plus one because I'm a Blood Angel, so that's an eight, a nine. <laughs> yeah. And I do have a second charge, which is going to be the Incursors into the Scarabs. Oh, okay. Uh, but obviously, they can't Overwatch. That is a five. It becomes a six. That might not be enough. Six hits. Three wounds. Rerolled into a fourth wound. Minus one. Minus one. Three up save. You wound one. Take that. <laughs> it was Overwatch, though. <laughs> it was, it was. So, a Sanguinary Guard, um, despite being minus one strength, the swords are plus one strength, putting me back to strength four, Nathan, uh, which means I would wound you on fours. Threes, because I'm Blood Angels. Uh, I actually have um, Ten attacks in total, I've got three base, plus one for Shot and Assault, plus one for Savage Echoes, because they're in the Assault Doctrine. Ah, Blood Angels. <laughs> uh, that one is a reroll. Uh, the good news is, though, the weapon skill is still only three. Oh, that's not too bad, then. No, no, no. But this is just the swords. So the swords oh. are only on threes. And I've still got the axes. So you've still got the axes and the power fists to go. Okay. So that's three, that would be two damage apiece, but that is a minus... Uh, three becomes minus four because they're in the assault doctrine, so that will kill three of them so far. Yes. So let's keep a tally of that. Then we're going to have ten attacks with the axes, which wound you on twos. Now, normally the axes would would still grant you a six up save because they're minus two, but because I'm in the assault doctrine with them, they're minus three, so no save ah, on okay. either. Oh, so that's another four. That's another eight. Right. That's that's ten in total. Uh, 11. 11. Yeah. So 11 so far. Well, at least you haven't wiped the squad out. Oh, but so I, far. I, I've got 15 attacks with the power fists now. Of, yes, <laughs> of course, of course. But he's only hit on fours. Of only. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I don't normally roll this well, Nathan. Look at all those fours. Um, twos. And twos. Uh, so that would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that's gone. 
Oh. So I consolidated into the Immortals, hoping to tie them down next turn. Nathan just hit back with 10 attacks now. Mm -hmm. uh, but only being strength 3 because of the effect that's in play. Uh, you did get one wound through. And I just rolled a 1, which would kill that wounded one. But I'm going to CP it because it's a 32 yeah. point model. You, you've kind of got to. There we go, he's still alive. And I think that's the end of turn. Right. So command phase, not a lot to do apart from put my will be done on here, on these guys. Yes, I was going to put both of them, but you know, you you took care of that problem. <laughs> and then movement, basically, they've shuffled up, the tomb blades have shuffled up, those have jumped up there to escape the bikers, the scarabs are coming to deal with the incursors, and you veiled of darkness out. Yes, I did. So that you can fire into them. With two stratagems. Yes. Uh, relentless Onslaught, because they're caught in infantry. Uh, so every time I roll a six, I get an additional hit. Yep. And because they are the Gauze Immortals, I'm going for dis uh, Disintegration Capacitors, which means an unmodified hit roll of six automatically wounds them as well, so I don't need to make a wound roll. No, for that attack, but for, the, that one, for yes. the additional attack that you score, I you will have to roll to that. Yes. So 20 attacks, Nathan. And by 20, I mean 10. Yes. <laughs> so hitting on threes, but fishing for those sixes. Oh, a couple of sixes. Do you want to re-roll that one up there as well? Yeah, re-roll that one. So three sixes, but then you were hitting on threes? Uh, I am hitting on threes, yes. So you've got three auto wounds so far. Yes. In addition to now rolling these to wound. No, no, all of them. Oh, all of them. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because you, you hit with right. all of them. right. Okay, so what was that? That was three. Yep. So I take three out then. No, no. Oh. Ah. All of them to wound. Oh, right, sorry. Because you, you hit. Right, now you get to reroll one wound. Because of my dynasty. Because of your dynasty. So, strength five, aren't you? Strength five. So you've got five wounds through, four, six wounds through in total, plus the three yes. is nine. And what's the AP of these? Uh, minus two. Minus two? Ouch. So nine saves on a four up. So you kill the wounded one, you kill another one, and wound another one on top of that. Nice. Tesla Immortals getting three sixes, a total of ten wounds, then being strength five. Twos. Well, that is not good. That kills two more. Nice. But you've got the death marks to still fire at them. I do. Oh, that's going to leave the three Power Fist dudes. Uh-oh. Right, Death Mark's next. Let's see if he can plink off another Sanguinary Guard. Yeah, two plus for these. They all hit. Nice. Strength five, so threes to wound. Threes. But that's one six. With that reroll for the Dynasty? Yes. So that's five wounds and a Mortal Wound in addition. So one wound already on a Mortal Wound. And these are minus two. Minus two? Minus two. Wow. So there's four wounds, if you count the mortal wound as well, which yes. leaves one guy. And the Staff of Light already fired yes, and, did. and didn't do anything. I, that wasn't bad, Nathan. I don't feel too bad for that first turn now. <laughs> I'll sacrifice a squad of net one warriors for what I've just done there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... 200 and... Uh, uh, two, 260, I think, for a full squad. 260, I think they were about 230-ish. Yeah, but they do a lot more damage. Yeah. But they don't keep standing back up like what your warriors do if you, yeah, if you don't. But not when you wipe out the entire squad. Yeah. Three more CP being spent on the heavy destroyers. Yeah. For... Um, Extermination protocols. Which allows you to reroll all wounds. And then the techno targeting. Which guarantees him... A successful what? wound roll. A successful wound roll before he rolls the to wound. So three dice. Three. Hitting on twos because it might well be done. Rerolling ones because of hard white for hatred. All hit. All hit. One of them. One of them guarantees. And I am strength nine. Then you're wounding me on threes and you're re-rolling them anyway. No, I'm strength ten. You're still wounding me on threes. Threes, right. With re rolls anyway because of extermination. Wow, thank God for extermination. Use two different dice, don't use them. Oh, use okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, go no, for it. No, I used to, uh... Oh! Uh, but. Um... You can't re roll a re roll. 
Right. So right. So dynasty doesn't mean a thing to no. you. No. So, so anyway, but two. And what's the AP of this? Minus four. No save. So three d three damage. So you have to roll these separately. Right. Because I'm minus one to each one. Ah, right. Okay. So so the first one <coughs> is four <laughs> becomes three. Four becomes three. And the second one. Is... Three, four, five becomes four. That's seven wounds dealt. Uh, Could was... have been. Li well, actually, you could CP re roll one of them damages. I could, yes. Do you want to re roll that one yes. that you rolled there? So you could potentially get up to six here if you roll a bit better. No. No. Exactly the same. That's a shame. That's a shame. But seven wounds dealt. He's more than half dead. Yeah. Which means he is, is at least bracketed. But. We've got uh, the command barge to fire, and his staff of light. We've got a staff of light here, and some weaponry from over there. Possibly some from up there as well. Yes. So the staff of lights have done another two wounds. Uh, I've suffered nine, but he's just getting two wounds with the heavy gauze cannons and underneath. Yes, on the command uh, barge. And that was with the dynasty reroll, so that's two. And this is minus three. Minus three. I pass one, I fail one. Right. D3 damage, Nathan. So D3 damage. Minus one. So one one damage either way. Yeah. So that leaves him on three wounds. He is now in his bottom bracket. Right. So he's got two wounds left thanks to all the fire from them. Next up though, we've got two weapons coming in from here down at the Dreadnought to try and take them out. But then the Tesla is going to go in at this squad to hopefully get the arc off. Yes. Right. So do you want to do the gauze first, which would at this range is only two shots, unfortunately. Yeah. So right. threes. Threes. Fives. Fives. Do you want to re-roll this one? Because it's got the best AP, I yes, think. Yes, I will use the Dynasty re-roll on this one. Yes. Yep. Is it minus two? It is minus two. He's on one wound remaining. And this is the last weapon firing at him. Is the Particle Beamer from them. So six shots. Uh, threes. Oh, all nice. hits. You missed with all the others. I did. Fives. Two. Two. No mm. AP. No AP. One Threes. wound. Oh! oh, oh no. I was keeping a reroll for that, you know. Yeah, I bet you were. <laughs> and then he's got the Tesla, which is going to hit these guys. And then uh, we'll come back with the stratagem afterwards, because I don't remember the name, but it basically arcs out and does extra damage yeah. to, to the guys nearby. So, so, four shots? Yep, yeah, four. Hitting on fours, because I'm in the woods. Oh, yes. Two hits, though. Uh, strength five, so threes. And then, re no, you've done your re-roll, haven't you? I used my re-roll, yes. And there's no AP on this. You do a wound. Yay! So, this stratagem is called... Malevolent Arcing. Which means as long as you hit... Yep. As long and as I finish resolving the attack... Roll the dice for every other unit within six inches, and on a four plus, that unit suffers a mortal wound. So, do you want to go for the Librarian Dreadnought first? I shall. No. no. The Sanguinary Priest. Yes. Yes. Uh, he can shrug it on a six. He does not. The Chaplain. Yes. On a six. He does not. And the Dreadnought is within six. Just... No! And you can't re-roll it? No, because I've... No. The Dreadnought lives, for the minute, <laughs> on one wound. Yeah. So maybe should have recorded this down here, because the Scarab's a low auto wounded on sixes to hit, mm -hmm. and now strength two. Yes. Which meant Nathan needed sixes to wound, which you didn't get, unfortunately. Um, you did kill one, because I failed two saves out of the five wounds that you did. But then, hitting back... Uh, how many have I... Have I got four wounds each? They have four wounds each, but one's already on two wounds. Yeah. And then one whole one dies, and the next one goes on two wounds. Yeah. So that's eight reanimation wounds I get to make. Lovely. Um, and it also affected me quite a lot as well, because I would have been wounding you on twos normally. Um, as a result, I'm strength three, your toughness three, I'm wounding you on fours. Threes because of Blood Angels. Yeah. I actually failed once it, one yeah. to wound. So five ups. Fives. Yeah, for the, for the reanimation roll. Oh, okay. But even then, you only roll two, which means that you can't get a base back up. Is that right? That's correct. All right, okay. 
And that was Nathan's only charge. Um, both units there will pass up morale because I was um, an 8. I lost 1. You're 10. You lost 2. I was 7 and lost 6. <laughs> I lost 6. I need a 1 or a 2. Oh, come on. Is it worth 2 CP? You've got plenty. You've got you've got a few. But was he one one guy? He's a power fist. He can take a character out. Yeah. Can you get to him? Yeah, I've got a jump pack. Okay. I'm going to spend it. I know that's a lot, but I'm getting one back next turn. I didn't spend as many as what I maybe thought I would have to. Um, I was keeping a reroll ready for him. Uh, and, of course, I've kept Armour of Contempt ready. So, turn two for the Blood Angels. Hero... Uh, hero phase? That's Sigma. He hero phase. <laughs> um, command, command phase. phase. Command phase. Um... Someone in the assault dock. He's going to put them alone. No, because then the guns wouldn't have the AP. I'll have to take your word for that. He's not putting anybody in the assault doctrine. Um, as far as the other stuff goes, he's going to try and get Mantra of Strength on himself. He gets it. Yay. Plus one strength attack and damage. Nice. But it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, though. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't come and slap all of them scarabs and kill... Just one base with every attack. Just run them over. Yeah, it'll literally kill one base with every attack because I'm damage four now with Macrosius. Nice. <laughs> so I think that's where he's going to end up having to go. So, command phase, he can use the Blood Chalice on characters, so he's put that, of course, on the Chaplain, which gives me an extra attack again. Because he needs it. Yes. <laughs> um, and the, the, the Crozius suddenly becomes something silly like minus four, minus five AP, which is it's ludicrous. Um, <laughs> these guys have stayed still. The secondary guards left here to try and deal with the character because it's kill points. I'm going for the big units. Um, Dreadnought stayed still. These have pulled out and the librarian has moved up here. I also just realised that I didn't move these no, guys. So these guys are going to come round to here. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Uh, psychic phase. Yes. Sorry, end of moving phase, he heals him for that one wound. Yes, he does, yes. Um, I'd already moved the dice because I told Nathan I was doing it. But, psychic phase. Wings of Sanguinius. Six. I get it on an eight. I'm guessing you've got nothing to stop it? I have nothing to stop it. Okay. Twelve is about there. And then, quickening. Extra D3 attacks. On an eight, I get it. An extra three attacks. <laughs> So he's got three more attacks than what he would normally have. And that's the psychic phase. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that, I, have, I have no idea what that, that is. That and possibly smite is the only thing that ever happens in the psychic phase. <laughs> um, shooting phase. I know what that is. Yes. This guy is enacting Wisdom of the Ancients to reroll hit rolls of a one. Because he's so poor. Because he's so poor. Yeah. But it extends to them because they're within reach, but the bikes aren't. Ah, right, okay. So, as much as this guy's using Wisdom of the Ancients, I have to go with them first, because if he dies with a Plasma, they don't get the rerolls. And with one wound, that's risky. Yes. So, uh, the Marksman Carbines into the Tomb Blades, the minus one to hit. They are. So yes. I'm hitting on fours, rerolling ones, sixes, auto wound. Okay. So that's two auto wounds. Mm -hmm. Are you toughness five? I am toughness five. So that's four saves in total that you need to make. Uh, tactical Doctrine, so minus one AP. Minus one. Was that five, you said? Four. Four. Uh, so that's so fives. Fives. Because yep. they don't have shield veins. Uh, so, yeah, so two wounds. Does that so kill one? or that, that does kill one. Oh, nice. Okay. Sweet. Um, then we're going to rapid fire with the twin boat guns from the Outriders. Oh, so is that, that squad finished then? That's that squad totally finished, yes. Uh, Reanimation then? So two, yeah, needing two fives to get back up. No. He fails it. Twelve shots from the twin bolt rifles here. Now, because these are intercessor bolt rifles, these become minus two while the tactical doctrine is active. Right. No rerolls here though, so just hitting on fours because of the minus one. Uh, strength four, so fives. Just one just at one. minus two. So that's a six. Nope. Fail, so that's one wound on them. 
Right, so the Redemptor is going to fire into these guys next. Now, I have to fire the Plasma last, because I don't want to die. So, uh, this is the Storm Bolters into the Destroyers. Rerolling hit rolls of a 1. So these only hit on 5s, unfortunately. Uh, strength 4, Destroyers of Toughness 5. They are 5, yes. No. <laughs> uh, Onslaught Gatling Cannon is a total of 8 shots. 5s. Oh. 3 hits. Uh, this is Strength 5, so 4s. 1 wound at minus 1. Uh, four up. Makes it. Then we've got the Icarus Rocket Pod, which is D3 shots for two fives. One hit. Strength seven. That is a wound. Uh, and it is, uh, where's it gone? Minus one. Minus one. Four, four again. Two damage. Uh, he's on one wound. Yep. Overcharge Plasma. Should I re-roll that for cocked? Yeah. Two. I'm going to CP re-roll that. And get a one. Oh! Oh, six. <laughs> now I don't care if I die. Fives re-roll and ones. I get two hits. Strength nine. Two wounds. Kills two destroyers because it's minus four um, and three damage each. Well, at least I've still got one left. For the minute. Melt the gun at him. Cocked. Hits. Toughness 5, strength 8. That's a wound, it's minus 4. And it's d6 damage, because I'm not within 6. That's the 3. So he's gone. So he's gone. Oosh. And then I've got a load of small arms fire coming into these. One death mark cut down, and one scarab base thanks to their pistols. But now, we have the charge phase. This guy's charging in there. Mm -hmm. Oh look, so even with that. Yeah. So he's going straight into there. Then, this guy, unfortunately, is going to have to declare both of them, I think. Okay, right. That's a 10, that becomes 11 because Blood Angels. I'm fairly confident that's in. Okay, I also have the Outriders charging them. Mm-hmm. Five becomes a six, they're going to be in as well. Yeah, actually, no, I don't think I can because he's. So, here we go. The librarian dreadnought is going first. He's going to put one force halberd into him. He's then got eight attacks four base, three for quickening, plus one for shock assault, all going at him because I can only wound you on fours. So, force halberd misses. Fists. That is too many misses. That's a, that's no, it's not. I should have used Wisdom of the Ancients again because it's a different phase. Ah, right. One. One wound on your five up in one. Oh no, it goes through. Three damage. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't according to plan. Should we mince some of these guys up next? Yeah, I've only got three wounds. I'm guessing you're not interrupting them with Scarabs all there. No. Okay. So the exhausted card coming into play, these guys only got four wounds in total. Des uh, despite having what, what what is it like six eight it, attacks it was, between them? It was a lot. And I did get lucky rolling those two fives for me on my saves as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. This guy, however, is strength seven. Mantra strength gives him plus one, which gets him back to four. The Crozius gives him another two, puts him up to six. Yes. And then the Imperium Sword puts him up to seven. So he would normally be strength eight, but he's strength seven. Four tax base, plus one for Mantra of Strength, plus one for Imperium Sword, plus one for Shock Assault, plus one for Savage Echoes because he's in turn three. It's almost like you don't like us or something. Lucy did this to me, <laughs> and I'm sorry that I'm doing it back to you, right? <laughs> it's... So all of these attacks, hitting on twos. Yeah, weapon skill two. And I get a free reroll. Of course you do. So there's my reroll. That's because of uh, the... Blood Angel Warlord, I can't remember the name. Gift of Foresight, I think. Right. So I'm strength seven, you're toughness three. Yes, I am. So I'm wounding you on twos regardless. They're killing us on twos, really. With a reroll. So that's two mortal wounds in addition to... Uh, this is four damage each. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight bases of Scarab's dead. 
And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. He would have almost killed the entire squad himself. He would have done. That's that's impressive. He he's a monster. Yeah. I mean, those are meant to be top hits. <laughs> But at four damage, it's strength eight with plus one to wound. This game's broken. He's broken. <laughs> and then we've got this guy down here. He's got four attacks in total. Three base, mm -hmm. plus one force um, shock assault. Hitting on fours, though. Right. Two hits. I've still got a CP reroll, Nathan. You've got lots of CP. I'm going to do it. It fails. Oh. I'm down to six CP. Uh... This is... I'm strength 6 because I'm strength 3 times 2 makes me 6. Right, I'm toughness 4. So I'm wounding you on 3s, 2s because I'm blood angels. Uh, does he have an invulnerable? He does not. Okay, uh, minus 2. Right. And um, 2 damage each. Oh, so I need to make one of these. I need to make... So he's on a 5 up. Because it's minus 2, so I have does to... Does he have, have a 3 up armor normally? Or is he on a 4 up normally? I'm sure he's... Well, that's a very good question. Ignore everything that we just said. Power fist to minus three. And I only have a four up save. Yeah. So he's dead. Yes, with, th with those two wounds, at two damage, that's four wounds just gone. Yep. Yeah. Are you playing the stratagem to keep him alive? I will do, yes. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll try to. Yeah. Yep. So that's it. So combat's over. Well, with him anyway, so blah, 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 blah. One point. I, gets... I will consolidate, by the way. Oh, In yeah. Into them. Into them. But on a four up, does he get back up? Yes, he does. He does. And th is it within an inch? I think you've got to play uh, some... Either, either way, Nathan's got a couple of attacks to come back at me here. Yes. Uh, and he's got one Tomb Blade to fight there. So we just rolled this slightly out of sequence so we don't forget it. Uh, he got one wound back. The next wound will be for Living Metal in Nathan's command phase, just so we don't forget it. But uh, you're using... What's the strategy again? Disruption fields. To give these plus one strength yes. to hit him. So 10 attacks, it means that you're wounding on 4s again rather than 5s because of exhaustion. Yeah, so 3s. 1 miss. Nice. 4s. 4s. With my dynasty. That's 2. I need a double 1 for you to kill us. <laughs> And I didn't I use the CP reroll. <laughs> I believe you did. I used the CP reroll on me hit for me power fist. Oh my oh my god. Well, you, that's just getting you your two hundred and odd points, Nathan. Ve he, he's uh, actually crying. <laughs> he's actually crying. Oh my god, that was um that that was beautiful. That uh -huh. that that was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've actually got several attacks to come back over here, so we'll just come, pa come back with the results because I don't think you're going to kill much. No, no. So, turn two for Nathan. Um, protocol of the Vengeful Stars has gone for the extra AP on a wound roll of a six, which is going to be helpful with that reroll. Mm -hmm. These guys have fell out of combat. They've dropped down there. Both units of Immortals pushed forward because my Sanguinary Priest is now exposed, and that is the target. Yeah, so let's see if we can pick him off with the death marks. Yeah, he's only got three. I can't believe they've only got four wounds still. You can't have everything. No. Uh, three hits. Three hits. Uh, strength five. Yeah. Toughness four. Toughness four. So threes. Reroll for my dynasty. Yep. So that's three wounds and a mortal wound in addition because you oh, rolled a six. Yes, I did, yes. So he drops to two wounds remaining. And it is a mortal wound in addition, isn't it? Yes. Or is it yes. instead of? Yes. In addition? Uh, in addition to any normal damage, yes. And what, what's the AP? Minus two. Right, well, one of them's a minus three because you rolled a six. Right, yes. Fails. Um, Leaves them on one wound. One damage. And then these are on fives. So that's two more wounds. That would kill him, but I've got me six up shrug. Because yep. I'm a character within range of myself. He does drop to two wounds, though. Right. So next up is three of these guys that can see him. The other two, unfortunately, have to go into them. So three shots. Threes. Two. Strength five, so Strength threes. Strength five, so threes again. Both wounded. Right, so one becomes an extra AP. So what AP is it normally? So it's normally a minus two, so that is now a minus three. Minus three. 
failed, and then that's minus two on a five. That fails. So that's another two damage. Six up. That kills him. <sighs> Which means that the chaplain now doesn't have the six up shrug. But you've got two guys firing into these, and then all the Tesla into them as well to yes. try and kill that unit. So down here, one marine slain from all that Tesla fire. But up next, the uh, Tomb Blades over there. So we've got a particle caster and a rapid fire gauze blaster into this guy. So the particle caster, six shots. Do you want to do the gauze blaster first? Because you remember you've got your reroll to wound. Yes, that's a good point. So, so four yes. shots with your gauze blaster because you're within rapid fire range because that extra range. So threes. Uh, yeah. You could reroll the hit if you want, but you might want to keep. I don't know. You've got still got down there to fire. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep that. Yeah. I, I wasn't going to use it. No. You sure. Yeah. Yeah. So fives. With a re-roll. Yes. That, that's two. At minus two. And that one's at minus three. Yes, Be yes. For the... Before we go ahead, do you want to CP that other one? No. No? No. Okay. Let's go with the minus three first. Yeah. Do I explode? Oh, no. <laughs> Mortal wounds on them because it's the only guys within range. I think that's two mortal wounds. Yep, just D3 mortal wounds now kills that injured one, but you've still got the Tesla which is going at them, so four shots in total. And I used the Dynasty reroll on the on the You so, did, so, you so, did, so, yeah. So you've yeah. got no reroll here. Yeah. So the threes. Oof, oof. So extra two shots on each of them because it's Tesla. Oh yes, yes. And minus one. No, no, that's the wound. No, it's the wound, oh. Oh, yeah. Right. So strength five, uh, threes, because I'm toughness four. So threes with sixes. Nice. So that is how many? Four saves at, at no AP. Yeah. So four normal and two at minus. So take a wound. Yeah. And, and then I'll... two at minus one. Take another wound. So one more guy dies. But then you were playing the stratagem to arc off and do more damage? Yes, I was. So on a 4 plus, the Outriders take a wound. No. No, but would the Dreadnought have Nathan if he was still would there? Would he have? No, he no. wouldn't either. And you can't, oh. re you can't technically re-roll that either. No. No, you can't re-roll more wounds. So, he's firing into him. Yeah. Uh, three shots. Yeah. Uh, it's a heavy weapon, so... It's Minus a... one to hit, so you'd be hitting me on threes. threes. Do you want to CP that, or are you going to wait for your wound rolls? I'll CP the hit, because I get a free um, yep. re-roll anyway. Yep. No, no. Still, still missed. Uh, strength six. six. Toughness seven, so yeah. fives. Uh, with the free dynasty one. No. Nothing. Not a thing. And you st still technically got your staff of light, because he is a vehicle. Yes. <laughs> Where were you just a moment ago? Uh, that again, the wound would be good for you. Uh, and you've used your reroll, so yes, nothing, nothing there, unfortunately. Um, that would be the end of the shooting phase. I'm guessing you don't have any charges. Uh, no. Um, I'm yeah. You bully you. Okay, so he he's the problem, Nathan. I've still got seven attacks with that guy because yes. quickening is until my next psychic phase. Yeah. And then I've got the force halberd as well. I don't get shot assault because I didn't charge him, but wasn't charged. No. And I don't get savage echoes. Right. Oh, wisdom of the ancients. <laughs> Before I forget. <laughs> there we go. So I'm hitting you on. Th shall I'll reroll that one. And it's a one, so I'll reroll that. It still misses. Uh, this would make me um, strength 6, I'm strength 12, so it, oh, it's fours, 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 it? yeah. Come on! Why didn't I pick reroll wounds of a 1? Mm, I don't know. 1. Uh, 5 up and vulnerable? No. 3 damage? 3 damage, plus me to 5. 5 remaining? No, f 5 damage taken. Out of? 8? I've got a force halberd. I hit. You don't wound. I will CP re-roll that. I do wound. 
I have nine wounds. Okay. So I have four remaining. This is minimum four damage. No, it's not. You're lying. It's, it's, D3, it's D3 plus three, I swear. You're on a five up. I'm on a five up. You've got a CP reroll, though. Yes, I need it. <laughs> CP reroll. I need it. I need it. Uh, it's D3 plus three. Librarian, you're going back on the shelf. You're not coming back out. <laughs> that, yeah, there's. I, I get that you, you want a four plus, but one out of seven. Yeah. Well, I mean, you. I mean, he, he didn't hit very often, which he should have minced meted. Yeah. But when what he did hit with was. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. You, do you know what though? I want damage like that. <laughs> Um, it's just a dreadnought fist, and the halberd just happens to be. You only get one attack with a halberd, right? Uh, but it's D three plus three. Yeah, as the damage instead of three. Uh, that means it's now my turn three. Oh yeah, that was my goal, wasn't it? Mm. Oh fun. Yeah, I just killed him in my in your turn. Yeah. Turn three begins, and the hunters become the hunted. So I uh, got Mantra of Strength off. He's going to go for those guys. Uh, the Intercessors, no. Incursors and Infiltrators are pushing forward to start and deal with these guys. Outriders are going to look to deal with them. And we've got the Librarian and the Infiltrators down here to deal with these. So Psychic Phase will be Smite. I get it on a 10. That's two mortal wounds on him. Uh, he only got two wounds, didn't he? Yes, he only got, uh, he got one and brought one back. Oh, because I did three damage to him before. No. You killed him. And then when I brought him back to life... That was, was him. Oh, yes, it was. Ah. So two mortal wounds on him. Uh, and he hasn't done any damage, has he? No. No. I'm getting confused. Um, Quicken in. I get an 11. Why couldn't I have done that the other way? I get an extra one attack, which I can't charge her anyway. So. No. Um, melt a gun, though. Misses. I'm still standing. Uh, I will CP that. I'm it's... not. I'm not standing. <laughs> that does wound because it's strength eight. And I'm toughness four. Yes. And I'm within six inches, which means it's two plus d six damage. Two plus even a d six. Ah, oh, so it's two. So it doesn't even matter. No. No. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. <laughs> So three Oculus bolt guns or marksman carbines, whichever ones they are, six is to hit auto wound. Uh, minus one to hit him. Yeah. Uh, two wounds. That doesn't wound, so just two wounds. Two wounds. No AP because I'm in the assault doctrine. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, two wounds at no AP. I thought they were like yeah. Um, fours. Wow. Well, threes because you're in cover. Oh yeah, they were golden. So he's on one wound. Okay. <laughs> okay. So one will rapid fire back. Two will go forward. I'm making you work for this. You are. Minus one to hit. Uh, so that's four hits. Strength four. Toughness five. No wounds. And then the other four uh, were going forward. Yes, they were. Well, the other two guys even. Um, minus one to hit. Still minus one to hit though. Two wounds at minus one. Four fives. Nice. Uh, I've got a whole host of small arms fire down here, so we'll just come back with a charge phase. So this guy made the charge into them. Uh, Nathan did overwatch, and he did one wound. Uh, and then over here, the Outriders also charged in at the Tomb Blades. But, attacks into these guys. I forgot to mention, I did kill one with shooting, but he got back up. Yes. Uh, and the Marines here managed to kill one death mark. The only reanimation I've made all game. Yeah. Uh, eight attacks because of Mantra of Strength, Imperium Sword, Savage Echoes, and Shock Assault. Plus four base. Uh, the two hits because he's weapon skill two. Um, and then I'm strength seven with these, so I'm still wounding you on twos because Blood Angels. Yeah. Six is Immortal Wounds in addition. I get a single free reroll. Uh, the minus three, four damage each. <laughs> Well, the, mi the, the four damage is completely irrelevant. Um, minus, what's the negative you saying? Actually, minus? It's minus two base on the Crozius. Yes. Minus three because of the 
uh, assault doctrine, so you would still get a six up. A six up. But you have got two mortal wounds as well. Right. So you need to make six six ups. Six six ups. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Plus the two mortal wounds. Meanwhile, over there, this is where it gets really bad. And I do apologise for this, because Outriders are way too good. It's only three models, how bad can they be? So, two attacks each base, okay. Three because of the Sergeant on the middle one. Two for uh, their charge rule, uh, which I completely forget. Uh, one each for a Chainsword. Uh, one each for Shock Assault. And one each for Savage Echoes. But it's only three models. I know. They they have a rule where they get two attacks for charging. That's not fair. I get four attacks for charging. Plus one for a chainsaw, plus two standard. You're going to make me cry. I'm sorry. Hold the camera. <laughs> Threes. Well, that's a bad roll. Well, that's all right, then. That, that's a very bad roll, Nathan. That is a god-awful roll. Uh, I'm only strength three though. Right, toughness five. So I would win you on fives, fours because of blood angels. Right. That's a good roll. Yeah. And they are they become minus two. So, uh, so six ups. Yeah, so eight in total at minus two. And the reason it's minus two is the chain sword is one, assault doctrine makes me minus two. I don't make a single save. So that's one, two, three, and yeah. two left over. There we go. And um, that will be Blood Angel's turn. Turn three for Nathan, and one wound dealt down here. But down here, five gores rapid firing into six wounds of Marines here to get him 105 victory points, if possible. How many command points have I got? Three. Uh, I might use one of those um, gores. Um, I put, no... Stratagems. Disintegration capacitors enacted. Ten shots at them six marines. Six is to hit automatically. Woo. Oh my god, Nathan. That's bad. That's like the librarian dreadnought. Yeah. So four out of ten shots. With a reroll. With a reroll for the dynasty. So that's four? Yeah. Four at minus two. So you kill one, you wound the next one over. Yeah. Three wounds remaining. You've got the Staff of Light from the Cryptech guy. I do. Threes. I'll give you that. It's a four okay. or six. Uh, strength five. Threes. Three wounds. Minus two. Yes. There. Which then leaves your death three death marks. Gee, I wonder where they're going to fire. Yeah. <laughs> See if I can shoot that coward in the back. Yep. <laughs> Twos. Two hits. Uh, Do you want to? Yeah, I might as well. Okay, one CP left. Yeah. Gets the hit. Fishing for sixes, though. Yeah, and I need these sixes. You can re-roll um, one. Re-roll one for the dynasty. Oh. So just two? Oh, just what strength is it going? Five. Uh, yes, I believe So it is. the three wouldn't win because I'm toughness five because I'm on the bike. And there's a failed save. It's only one damage as well, isn't it? It is only one damage, yes. And that's the end of turn four? Yes, it is. Three. 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 Okay. My turn four. Time to round everything up. Uh, the Outriders have pushed around here to get a couple of shots in at these guys. The Marines are going to support the Chaplain who got Manta of Strength off again. And I forgot to re-roll my save through Gift of Foresight. You did. Um, but these are going to hopefully deal with him. So, uh, Smite. That's a seven. That's two mortal wounds. Meanwhile, down here, we are going to have six shots from the bikers up into these uh, death marks. Three misses. Needing fives. Two at minus one, plus one because you're in cover. So threes. Yep, they're fine. Okay. Um, the Marines down here are going to have 10 shots in total into these Immortals. Six is to hit auto wound. 
none. And toughness five. One wound, no rend. No, that's fine. Okay, and then the chaplain will rapid fire. Uh, he's only ballistic skill three. Goes to wound. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not going to use any rerolls yet. Okay. Because I want to keep him for the combat phase. And even if I kill two, I can't get the, the character. No. So uh, that shooting phase done. Charge phase, uh, librarian. Uh, he's in. Yeah. So uh, four attacks base. Mantra of strength, Imperium sword, shock assault, savage echoes. All hit. Very nice. Uh, still twos because I'm strength seven. Reroll. So that's a mortal wound. Oops, sorry. That's a mortal wound, and you've got two, four, six, eight, six up saves to make. Because it's only minus three. Mm -hmm. Only. Uh, I you made make, them. You made two. <laughs> I made two. Uh, so that kills them. Yeah. Uh, I will, of course, then consolidate into you. Uh, and you are free to hit me back, good sir. I will. Did one wound. I did a wound. But then you get your wound back in your turn. And he's back to full wounds. And back to full, I'm guessing you're retreating. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then shooting. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come on, you more wounds. You've got to see, you've got two CP. You could re roll the hit. Oh, what's my protocol? Oh, did we look at it? Uh, no, because we're on turn four. Uh, each time this unit uses its living metal ability, each model in the unit regains one additional wound, or each time you make a reanimation roll, you can re-roll a one. Uh, I'll do the reanimation roll. Okay. Re -roll it wouldn't have made a difference there. No, because you... Because I wiped out the whole squad. Yes. And T only had one wound to regain anyway. Yes. So do you want to CP re-roll that to hit? I'll CP this one to hit. Which hits. they all hit. These are strength five, so strength five. fours. Uh, uh, Dynasty reroll. Yep. One wound. Which Pass. passes like a boss. And that's the end of your turn. It is. Sh do you want to call it there? Because I think I could probably clear them up in turn five. I think you might just do it, yeah. You want to call it there? You will call it there. <laughs> do you know what? We, we were just saying off camera there, right? When the Redemptor was left on one wound... Had you killed that Redemptor, yeah. you wouldn't have lost the other Destroyers, which meant the other Destroyers would have shot him, which means he probably wouldn't have been there. It is. I mean... It, I, it, it was a very unlucky roll with your damage. You it, just had to get one more. It was, it was. As I say, I've, but I mean, the, the mission was, you know, I've been chasing you down, we're both exhausted. Uh, me overlord, uh, he got... He got uh, he overstretched himself. Mm. You know, he underestimated you. You know, thinking we've got him on the ropes, we've been chasing them for yeah. days, and he just was not prepared <laughs> for the Blood Angel uh, fight back. He wasn't prepared for the aggression he was from, not. from this chaplain. He had had enough. <laughs> he was like, no more. He saw the sanguinary guard go down, and yes. it was just like blood red it rage. It certainly was, yes. <laughs> and, and his brother in arms, the sanguinary yeah. priest, fell. Yes. Yeah. The next one's advance, we fall back. They advance even further, we keep falling back. A line in the sand had to be drawn yep. here and no further. Yep. I just, I do kind of wish I had killed that Redemptor the turn earlier now. <laughs> yeah. Because, especially when I CP'd that re-roll and got three, but I got the five shots and then got like three oh, hits. yes. Like that, that, that changed the game yeah, there. Yeah, it did, yeah. Um, L losing them, like one, one round, one shot, gone. I was like... Oh, that's going to sting a little bit. But then the heavy's just not quite doing that damage. I know, like three D3s, but when you, when you, when you roll those ones, when you roll those ones, you know... You, uh... A potential of, na well, eight damage, because it would have been against yes. the Dreadnought, yeah. but to only get, like... Threes and fours. Yeah, that was rough. That was really rough. But uh, I like, I actually like the setup and the little um, scenario say, well, with this. It's minus one damage. So, so, so you ignored two damage, Yeah. and you were left on one wound. Yeah. So yeah, you, you when you spent that CP reroll and still rolled the what you just needed, yeah, a three or above yeah. to, to change it. Um, 
that that was brutal. I, do you know what? I do agree that Outriders are very powerful. Yes, I mean it's only three models, and you look at them and you go, "That's eh, three models." You know, I can I could ignore them for a little bit. There, there are one hundred and fifty points. So fifty points a model. Oh, I mean, but then the Sanguinary Guard were thirty-seven points a model. Those destroyers were fifty points a model. Yeah, but the destroyer a destroyer could kill one of them. Yeah. But, yeah. But I've got like nine attacks or something on the charge <laughs> yeah. as a blood angel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it, it is silly. Like getting an extra two attacks on the charge, plus the chainsaw, plus shock assault, plus two base, plus savage echoes. And then you paint them red. Of course, of course I've got to paint them red. <laughs> I'll I'll have three yeah. black ones soon though. Blue outriders wouldn't get that. N- Oh, they'd only get one less. <laughs> the black ones, though, the black ones are tasty as well. Are they? Yeah. What did they get? I can't remember. But oh. it's Black Templars, it's another combat army. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, but true Black Templars won't have any psychic. There's no psychic phase in the Black Templars. No, but I wouldn't have a Librarian Dreadnought either. I'll just have this beast of a man instead. That That's Hellbrecht, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So that is the start of the Black Templars. They will arrive at some point. Good. Yes. <laughs> right, that's it, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, of course, to Nathan for that really fun game. Yeah. Um, next time, Chaplin, go home. Yeah, as I say, just um, I think I just chased you too hard, the, too long. The problem that this whole mission had was you had a split. Yeah. And I was in the middle, mm-hmm. and I was 12 inches away from you. Mm-hmm. If, it, if it was Dawn of War and we were 24 inches apart, you, mm-hmm. you had that mission. Yeah. That was the that was the downfall of the mission was the deployment and you being so close to me. Yeah, I mean you you certainly can uh, reach out and touch someone. <laughs> I didn't even get to put my infiltrators and cursors up the board either. They were in my deployment zone. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again very soon.